welcome back to our youtube channel so today's video very important video in upcoming days 4th and 5th december ibm interviews will be started and offline uh, programming assessment also uh, started so how to clear that uh, process and how to clear the interview and you will get the uh, real time uh, candidate experience also uh, in this video and also uh, what are the suggestions and tips and tricks to clear the assessment and interview and how many days after completion of your interview how many days you have to wait for the selection mail and each each and everything i have covered in this video definitely it will be helpful so for more videos and for more interview experience videos in upcoming days or else upcoming hiring process so please like this video and subscribe my youtube channel your kind support will be helpful to reach more students okay i hope everyone is doing like and subscribe okay let's get started today's video so firstly uh, you can join the uh, ibm update group okay if any updates or any kind of questions will be there then we can directly share this group it will be helpful so you just scan or else uh, link in the description as well as comment section you can go through that and you can join this group if any updates will be there then we can directly share the updates through that group okay so that is the uh, uh, group related discussion and coming to the uh, process so 4th december 5th december uh, the two types of rounds will be there so what is the 4th december round okay it's a completely coding assessment first thing sir how many codes will be there okay how many uh, questions will be uh, sorry how many questions will be there and uh, how many codes we have to pass in the offline interview offline exam offline interview process so here i'm clearly telling you they are giving only just one question okay they are giving you just one question they give some time in that time you need to write the code and you need to pass the all test cases okay that is the first first step so what is the type of questions okay what is the type of questions and what is the process so firstly if you are a good if you are a good at technical skills hands on experience you can easily clear the uh, round around the uh, what is the round 3 that will be the offline coding assessment uh, easily you, you have to clear because it's not a dsa uh, data structures and algorithms it's not a dsa it's a completely basic level of coding questions okay basic level or else medium level of coding questions will be there you just pass all test cases they are giving only one coding question i'll, I'll tell i'll show you the uh, student experience also then you can clarity about the process okay so that is the the like offline coding assessment and in upcoming slides i'll tell you next stage of process let's get into the candidate experience previously uh, who are completed the offline process okay so yeah so firstly we are asking the candidate uh, like we are posted the one message if anyone is completed the offline ibm process so please message us then we have to uh, inform other candidates uh, who are uh, having uh, upcoming days interviews and offline process so they will be uh, helpful for the process so that's why we are message uh, put the message in the group then a few candidates will be responding so this is the one candidate sir i'm attending the offline interview round that will be the on campus so on campus and off campus both are the same process offline process so you can see uh, we are asking sir can you tell me your experience in offline ibm process through the google meet actually we are asking uh, real time experience for through the google meet but candidate said sir not no i'm not uh, uh, like uh, i'm not uh, interested but i'll share the experience through the uh, whatsapp okay so next uh, screenshot i have cleared the ibm online coding round and english communication round then later the offline process uh, started uh, offline coding round and offline uh, some assessments and next day interviews okay so what is the uh, what is the offline process was here they will conducting one coding assessment whenever you are reach the uh, offline uh, location then you, you need to carry your own laptops if possible because sometimes uh, company will not be provided the laptops it will be better to 
carry your own laptops okay and also be careful with your laptops because it's a uh, huge competition and huge members will be there on that time you need to protect your laptop as well okay so you need to carry your own laptop later uh, they will be assigning some uh, like uh, well, what is the process like they will, they will be assigning some room or else some uh, laboratory then you they are saying okay you can open your email id then you can click on that link then you can start your exam okay the, the volunteer is also there uh, the invigilators so invigilators also uh, monitoring your exams and all so after completion of your assessment that is the 4th december 2025 if you are selected if you are selected then you will get the uh, invitation for the interview okay interview either they are sending some list or else or they are directly sending the mail after that 5th december whenever they are uh, like uh, whenever the interviews will be happening uh, time so you will get the interview time and all then you need to go to the offline uh, same uh, location i think so same location you need to go to the offline then we need to uh, submit some registration process and all then after that your interview will be started okay so yeah i'll tell you interview process and all so firstly you can see uh, in off in offline exam uh, whatever the i'm telling the previous slides they are clearly mentioned it's not a dsc questions it's a basic coding questions related uh, some scenario based questions like come on i'll show you one real time question yeah you can see this is a question hacker rank platform questions mostly if you are already preparing for hacker rank coding questions you can dead easy you can dead easily clear the assessment because the the exam will be conducting only hacker rank platform so you you will get the ibm offline coding question also hacker rank hacker rank platform coding questions so for example my expectations and my suggestions for your offline coding assessment questions was loop loop related questions for loop while loop and uh, if else uh, there is a loop related questions and also uh some array type of questions and some uh, uh link list link list pointers these are the types of questions will be there right so you need to practice some logics mainly you can see this coding question they clearly giving the input 1 input 2 input 3 so first of all whenever you are start the coding uh, questions like a coding assessment you just uh, see the inputs you just see the inputs and what is the output and uh, yeah previously uh, what is whatever the logic they have given so you can observe the uh, logic firstly so you can see here input specifications integer 1 and integer value of n representing the size of array input 2 and integer value k representing the hitting the threshold and in input 3 and integer array a okay so what is the output specifications written an integer value representing the number of elements that remain hit the hitable to uh, that is a still greater than the k if after after one round so here what you are observing if the statement will be if the statement will be true then you need you need to go to the next or else if the statement will be not greater than or what is the topic so um, that is the, that is the the loop will be break then the again the loop will be continue so oh yeah i am not that much uh, coding level of knowledge but i'll tell you this is the some real time uh, uh, explanation in your mind you need to just think like a uh, some logic okay it's a simple logic you need to Uh, implement the logic then you can uh, implement and uh, you, you need to write a code accordingly for example mainly you have to use python it is better as per your preferred language you, you need to prefer you need to maintain programming language but python is a better to write a uh, quick codes and pass all test cases so uh, like that you need to think about it okay if you don't know any coding you need to practice some basics and you need you observe you can observe your inputs and uh, outputs then you can try to write a codes okay anything is happening if you put your hard work towards the process 
okay without any efforts without any preparation and without any knowledge in this generation not at all possible to get the jobs okay because ai is booming many jobs so you need to uh, adopt and you need to prepare the skills you need to understand the uh, like uh, current market and accordingly you can build your skills okay so that is the my suggestions so these type of questions will be came from uh, offline exam 4th december 2025 okay so after completion of your exam you will get the interview and the interview process will be completely resume based questions and ops concept and uh, there is a some kind of uh, project related questions this is the simple type of interview they they not at all they not at all asking hard level they just asking add to numbers fact to numbers they are just asking some programming basics uh, topics logics all all this stuff okay every company will be same process same repeated process and upcoming infosys offline interview exams and interviews also happening on that time also same process you need to adopt the situations you need to write the codes and definitely you will clear the exam easily okay i hope everyone is clear the clear about this video I, everyone is clear about the process you just maintain your uh, coding uh, level of uh, skills during the offline 4th december and who are pass the all test cases in the 4th december those students will get the interview 5th december 2025 okay uh, after 20 after completion of your interview you will be selected for the next uh, step that is a offer letter background verification and joining okay so this is a complete process to get the joining letter i hope everyone is clear about the process if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section thank you bye bye